Did you guys get me good? I don't want to live in Tony's dear And I don't want the thoughts in your head Oh my And I don't need your opinion instead I'm just as surprised as you are that I'm here tonight too uh, Come on Daniel! Get some material. I mean, look at the fuck. The man that we have a throne for. That chair is a perfect representation of how this night feels. I, I would say if anyone is half gay, it would be Dan Caprio. <laughs> Guys, Andy Bustamante's hat smells like Newport lights and back child support. <laughs> well, yeah, let's, let's get it started, man. We're here to talk about fucking, uh... My man Carl, man. Y'all notice he looks like Jay and Silent Bob. I'm deaf in my left ear. I don't know what the fuck this guy says. Half the time. I don't know what the fuck anybody says half the time. Did you guys get me good? Did they get me good? I didn't hear a fucking word the entire time. Carl drinks as much Corona as the next guy. If the next guy is Mexico City. <laughs> Guys, Daniel Caprio, again, your roast master. Yeah. That's an appropriate response to that. I'd like to make an announcement. Despite everything that's said about me tonight, I am not a murderer, rapist, and I do not have a shit fetish. <laughs> Kyle Groom! Kyle loves talking about having trouble growing a beard, which is ironic because he has no trouble maintaining that beard of a fiance. <laughs> Speaking of psychopaths, Liam Burdett, everybody. He still dresses like he's 14 years old. And that's because that's the same year his father left. And he wants to make sure he still looks the same when he comes back. <laughs> you can change, he's not coming back anytime soon. Jeff Smith Jr. on stage, Jeff. Jeff, I get just because you look like a depressed Sad, lonely, single father doesn't mean you have to dress like one, man. That's all I have to... Jeff Smith has the face only a child could love. Too bad he never gets to see his, you know? <laughs> Sean McDonough, this here is back from Oregon. Man got to drive across country, go to college, live in a van, and grow that sweet mustache. These are all Jacinda's life goals. We got uh, everyone's favorite underdeveloped swamp thing here, Tadpole Triplet. <laughs> Tadpole, I do genuinely appreciate that you really do care about us all, and week after week it's so beautiful that you share your sincere feelings with us all, even though they're never reciprocated. <laughs> Richard Dwayne looks like his Ed Sheeran. Ate Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I fucked that up. So I drank earlier. Oh, I'm parched. If anyone wants to buy me a water, I'm put out. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Let's hear it for the brand new box now. Vin Brew, you look like you're doing your best Miley Cyrus impersonation right now. I fucking hate you. No, you, it's your turn now. It's a very you positive can. message to throw me off. Uh, Shaw McDonough looks like me if I didn't have a home and didn't have herpes. Alright, Liam Burdett. Anybody remember him? Look, we get it. Your jokes are based around touchy topics. School shootings, abortions, things we all wish you had more personal experience with. <laughs> Do us a favor, when you inevitably do kill yourself, blame us so we can get some press coverage. Uh, and as you probably noticed, I, uh, I have no comedy skill at, at all. My oh, man, what? Also the man in the house. Richard Dweck. Dweck. Were you named after like a blowjob set? <laughs> black, 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 black. And I'll stink up this place and then I will.
will disappear once again. I said the N word one time in my life, and it was while I was fucking Gary McLean's ex wife. <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> oh, man, Gary McLean. Gary, you're dressed like, like G.I. Joe Budden. <laughs> Matt Nesimeno is here, the only white man I know with Malcolm X glasses. <laughs> He's celebrating three years sober. Matt, no one likes a quitter, and you're probably funny or drunk. Joe for Finn Brew, because I love that guy. Yeah! yeah. Remember, I used to work at a Wawa for a, a little while, and I would always use Vin Brew's bo uh, voice every time that I would have to, like, calm a customer down. Take it over. This guy knows about rape. <laughs> um. Guys, he has a point. He's not as drunk as I thought. Right. Yeah. Still got it. <laughs> Up here. And it worked every time. It's like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm so sorry. We, we, it's the Hockey Fest ended yesterday. Um, today's Monday now. It's the, it's the start of the new week. And uh, I don't know what to tell you. What the fuck are you talking about? You're fucking crazy. I think we just need to stop making fun of each other. You know, it's a lot of animosity in this comedy world. I hear people saying horrible things about each other. You know, I hear people saying, like, Angela looks like a little weird turtle man who lost his shell. And he's just overcompensating because he doesn't have a shell anymore. And I'm like, that's not right! Angela Gidrelli is not the left child of Mitch McConnell and the Mona Lisa, okay? That's not true. Are the dead rat guys here? Not supporting somebody else's show. Big surprise! <laughs> Yeah. 